Okay, first we're going to give you the explanation, and then the next video we will do replicate the experiment. So, here we have our two magnets. Here's the side that's going to be sitting flat. As you can read it, obviously normal. That would be our face up on our flat, flat magnet on our convex lens. Here you obviously, it looks reversed because this is the face of the magnet. So, look at our field directions. If we overlap them, look, oh, we see our hypertrochoid pattern, just like we can see in our ferro cell uh, experiments. Although they're not perfectly lined up, you can still see the pedal like geometric formation of our hypertrochoid pattern, except in very simple. So here we have our face up, and this looks reverse because obviously this is our field direction face down. So we know this is voidance, or what you incorrectly call attraction of magnets. So the Australian guy says in his video, he says, well mate, he says, I spin the magnets on the lens, but I don't know why they're going. When I spin the bottom magnet clockwise, the top magnet is going counterclockwise, and when I spin it, the bottom flat magnet counterclockwise, the top magnet goes clockwise. Well, what is physically spinning and what is spinning in the field are two different things. Magnets don't see physical spin. Fields don't see physical spin. Fields see fields. They don't recognize spatial movement. So, this is what happens when you spin your flat magnet on the bottom of the convex lens clockwise. The magnet at gyromagnetic precession is sitting at an angle of roughly, it doesn't have to be exact, somewhere close, 21.246 degrees is the gyromagnetic precession. But they're sitting like this flat, and this one is sitting like this in relationship, okay? So, when you spin your bottom magnet clockwise, the top magnet spins counterclockwise. You say, well, Mike, the arrows on this one are going the opposite direction. So, your explanation doesn't make any sense. Well, it does. I'm moving the physical magnet on the top, what's well, moving itself that way, counterclockwise, but the field is still remains the same. Those arrows are the field. The circle is the physical magnet. So, when I rotate my bottom magnet clockwise, the top magnet goes counterclockwise, but the field directions remain the same. It's all about field pressure mediation. So, when I spin on bottom magnet counterclockwise, the top magnet spins clockwise. Necessitated field pressure gradient mediation. Fields don't see physical movement. Fields only see fields. Lowest pressure gradient mediation for voidance. This would be what you call attraction. So if I spin the magnet, if I move, I'm not spinning either magnet. The top one is spinning, the bottom one is only moving. So if I move the bottom magnet counterclockwise, the top magnet processes clockwise. Fields are always in the pattern of voidance. Spin the bottom, I mean actually I'm rotating the bottom magnet on the flat surface of the lens. I'm just going to use a large salad bowl, you'll see the same thing in the next video. You spin your bottom magnet clockwise, the top magnet will move counterclockwise. Now you say, well, these arrows are moving counterclockwise. No. There's the trick. This is the mind screw of space. Polarization equals space equals radiation. I'm moving, I mean, actually, I'm not moving, I'm physically moving, but in the next video you'll see that the physical magnet, the physical magnet is moving counterclockwise, but the fields are still moving clockwise. But that is looking at it from the face. You can see that the south and the f down here for face are reversed. What is happening between the two is like this. So, that's why you can read this one correctly north and face, and this one looks inverse because we're talking about the two faces of the magnet. They're clear for demonstration. So, clockwise movement on the bottom, counterclockwise spin at the top, still getting voidance. That is why necessitatively you move the bottom magnet counterclockwise, the top magnet will spin clockwise. Fields only see fields. They only work just like fluid dynamics along lowest pressure gradient mediation for voidance. The magnetic fields, for lack of a better word, sees lowest pressure gradient moving the physical magnet this way when this magnet is being 
moved this way. Moving the bottom magnet this way causes spin of the physical magnet counterclockwise, but not the field spin. Field spin and physical spin are two different things. When this magnet is spinning one way or the other, it doesn't make any difference. You notice if I spin it clockwise, the arrows are still in the same direction. If I spin it counterclockwise, the arrows are still in the same direction. Doesn't matter if I spin this top magnet clockwise or counterclockwise, physically, physically, physical spin is not field spin. So when this one is moving physically counterclockwise, the arrows are still moving in the same direction. When I move this one physically clockwise, the arrows are still in the same direction. Field spin has nothing to do with physical spin. What? Yep, that's the perceptual error of space. Space is the mind screw. Space is space is how magicians and illusionists make their make their bread and butter. And it's also the perceptual screw of human perception. So, in the next video, here we'll have our two magnets marked. Okay, we're going to explain the Aussie's video. We've already explained it. Physical spin is not field spin. Magnets don't care how they move physically. The fields are locked in place. Magnetodielectricity, field incommensurability, is locked in place. I spin it clockwise, the field stays the same. I spin it counterclockwise, the field stays the same. <laughs> Remember, descriptions are easy. Explanations of wisdom. Watch the next video and you'll see the physical demonstration.